There are three phases of Bible study that you have to master, and this is simple whether you're a beginner, whether you've been studying for decades. These three phases of Bible study are something you need to implement today if you want to grow in your ability to understand God's Word. Well, my name's Pastor Addison, and this is Everything Church Pro, and it's our desire to equip every single believer to learn how to study the Bible for themselves. We just want to give you the tools as well as help you serve in your local church as best as you can. We believe that the church is not online. It is a local assembly. And so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Enjoy, join this. I hope you enjoy it too, but join this growing community of Bible lovers and church goers. Uh, but without further ado, what are the three phases you need to, to understand and master to grow in your Bible study. The three phases are this. Number one is observation. Observation is where you come to the text with open eyes and you're just investigating and you're writing down anything that sticks out to you. And so it needs you to read, reread, mark recurring words, all things like that. So I encourage you, sit down with a piece of paper and the text that you're reading for that day. And then just as you're reading, mark things out that, that interest you. Mark things out that cause you to question and just write those down. There's no pressure in this stage to be right or wrong. You're just observing. You're just seeing what's there. Okay, so you have observation. That's phase number one. Phase number two is where we go from observation to interpretation interpretation. This is when our question goes from just what is it saying to what does it mean? What does it mean? We're looking for author intent here. What was the original intent of the person penning this? And so you've got to get back into the history. You've got to do a little bit of background study here. Who wrote this? Who was it written to? Why was it written? All of these questions are things you're going to want to study out. And to do that, you can do that through Blue Letter Bible. I can't even speak today. I apologize. Blue Letter Bible. You can do that through an expensive one like I use. I use Lagos Bible Study. You can use eSword, which is a cheaper version. And you can look at the Matthew Henry, which is free on those as well. There's many different options to find the background of these different texts. You can also uh, get a, a commentary. Got the Matthew Henry back there. Got a few others. Truthfully, most of my books are still in boxes I haven't unpacked yet. But your goal is to figure out what the author intent was when he wrote these words. Not what the greatest gurus online say this verse means. What did the author mean when he wrote that? That's interpretation, okay? So we have observation, interpretation, but it's not complete without phase three. Phase three is this, application. Application. A lot of people skip phase one and two and go straight to phase three, which you're gonna get a lot of wonky applications if you do that. But application is, what does God want me to do with what I've learned today? So you've studied something out, and now it's your job to go out and put this into practice under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And if it's in the Word of God, the Spirit of God will strengthen you to obey. But you've got to trust Him that it's the best way. You've got to trust Him that it's right. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. And so this is the three-phase approach to Bible study. Number one, observe. Number two, interpret. Number three, apply. And I believe if you do this, you're going to grow in your Bible study leaps and bounds. And so friends, hope you have a great day. Watch this video next and continue growing in your service in your local church and in your Bible study. We'll see you next time.